Resort and Casino. I'm Dan Gustafson. I'm the United Indian Nation Athletic Commission. We're going to take care of a little bit of business here. I'm going to introduce you to Billy Rossi. He's our chief inspector. He's got a few instructions for the fighters. He's going to introduce a referee who's going to give the fighters a few more instructions uh, to prepare for tomorrow night. And at that time, we're going to call up our first two fighters for weigh-in. So, again, on behalf of Turning Stone Casino and the United Indian Nation Athletic Commission, welcome everybody. We're looking forward to a great fight tomorrow night. And at this time, let me introduce Billy Rossi, Chief Inspector of the United Indian Nation Athletic Commission. Billy. Thank you, Mr. Hopkins. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Turning Stone Casino Resort. Uh, just a couple things for uh, for the uh, boxers in the corners. Inspectors are here to protect the uh, boxers. I know it's your job as well, so please work together with the inspectors. They're just looking out for your fighters. That's their main job. Uh, report time for the undercard, 5 p.m. in the event center. 5 p.m. in the event center. We'll take you in, do the urine analysis, put you to your uh, dressing room with your inspector. Uh, Tashara and Alate, 6 p.m. report time. Everyone else, 5 p.m. Tashara, Alate, 6 p.m. Main event, 8.30 p.m. report time. Uh, that's it. I'll, I'll uh, take any questions later. If you need me, just find me. And I'll turn it over to our referee, one of our referees, Mr. Charlie Fitch. He'll go over some of the particulars for the belts. Association of Boxing Commission rules are in effect for all the fights tomorrow night. So there's no safe by the bell in any round, including that last and final round. Three knockdown rules win. So if a fighter goes down three times in the same round, it's going to be up to the referee whether to stop that fight or allow it to continue. The fighters are fighting on the inside. Be careful to avoid the headbutts. Do not want to see any punches to the back of the head or to the other fighter's back. Protective cup should be low enough so that we can see the navel. Punches that land on that belt line, that waistband, are not a, is not a low blow. Anything we see landing below that will be ruled a low blow. Fighters, if you score a knockdown of your opponent, go to that furthest neutral corner, yeah, remain in that corner until you see the referee motioning for the fighting to resume. Fighters get tied up in a clinch. <laughs> we want to see the fighters work their way out of the clinch on their own. I see that you're not able to do that. I'll give the command break. Once you hear the referee say break, stop punching, take a full step back, and make it a clean break. Most important rule, protect yourself at all times. I know. See, I'm gonna, I have high After you weigh in tonight, make sure you get enough food, food break. in your body so you come into the ring at full strength tomorrow. It's gonna last a little bit longer. Good I'll luck, go over the rules again in the dressing room. Tomorrow right. night, thanks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to make this way in official, my good friend, Ray Florin! Thank you, Tattoo. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Turning Stone Resort Casino. A big night of boxing, HBO Boxing After Dark. It is all being brought to you by Arthur Palula's Banner Promotions, Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions, sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Mas Vina, Mexico, Live It to Believe It, and Hortita Vodka. Tomorrow night, so apropos that Matisse and Kubotnikov is on HBO Boxing After Dark. That's why this series was made, for fights like this. 19 years ago in February, you had Kennedy McKenney, Marco Antonio Barrera. Gaddy Ward, number one, was on HBO Boxing After Dark. And tomorrow night, Lucas Matisse and Ruslan Provodnikov look to follow in their footsteps. It all comes away from Turning Stone Resort Casino here in Rome, New York. A sold out Turning Stone Resort Casino as we get set for 12 rounds in the Super Lightweight Division. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the stage first, representando Argentina. Make some noise for Lucas.
Ladies and gentlemen, now please welcome to the scale with a record of 36 wins, 34 of those coming by way of knockout against three defeats. He joins us from Trelu Chubut, Argentina. He is the former WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World.
see if he's going to come across. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he makes his way to the stage. Middleweight division makes some noise for Patrick.
24 wins, 20, 14 of those coming by way of knockout. Opposite one defeat, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Botelli the Mosaico.
Guillermo El Vampiro Sanchez. And his opponent, he happens to be the nephew of the great Brazilian fighter world champion, Asalino Popo Freitas. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated eight wins. Five balls coming by way of knockout from Salvador, Brazil. Vitor Jones Freitas. One thirty-five for Victor Jones Freitas, the nephew of Marcelino Coco Freitas. Now, gentlemen, don't miss it, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that have tickets, you are all very lucky because tomorrow night's event is sold out. But you can still watch the action on HBO Boxing After Dark, nine forty-five local time here on the East Coast. What a night it is going to be. A fight for the ages for Juan de Matisse. But here we have Freitas and Sanchez over here.
Te mueves de batista. Te mueves. Fight and events, but to go live one on 